Hello boys and girls, this is Mr. Cordova, and this is going to be a shorter version of the science experiment Friction. Go ahead, grab your journals. The table of contents is going to be forces. Put today's date, whatever date you're watching it. And it's going to be 9 14, 20 for the day I'm doing it. And your page number. Let's go ahead to page 3. And there it is. Write your date, page, and then the title forces as well. What you're going to do is, I know this one says number three. Um, go ahead for the first time, do your question, the purpose, how far will a marble travel on different surfaces? And that is what the experiment, that is what we're going to be talking about today. Now the ramp, we have a ramp that's going to be 1.5 centimeters in height. And this is the distance. I've already measured out the distance. If you want to see it live, or not live, but if you want to see the whole experiment, then check out the longer version. And this is the three different surfaces that I used. So the question was, how far will a marble travel on different surfaces? The height didn't change. The only thing that changed was the surface. And because the surface changed, the distance changed. Hypothesis. I believe that the aluminum surface will have the most friction, so that is my hypothesis. It does not have to be true. It does not have to be false. It is just your opinion, what you think, what you believe, what you are assuming. Number three, experiment. So go ahead, let's begin the experiment. I used a marble to roll it down a ramp that is 1.5 centimeters in height. First on the rubber mat, the distance on the first one, Second one and third one, that was 61 centimeters. For the aluminum, trial one was 14, 13 and a half, and 11 and a half. Trial two and three respectively. Carpet, trial one, six centimeters, four centimeters, and six centimeters. That was my experiment. If you want to see it, if you want to see my experiment, watch the extended version, okay? Number four, analysis. I added these three numbers up, these three and these three, separately, and then I summed up and got the total. 61, 61, 61, which is 183. Added these three up, these three up, and then I divided by three for each one. The average for the rubber mat was 61. For aluminum, the average was 13. And then for carpet, the average was 5.3. Again, I added the three numbers, divided by three, and got the average. If you need some help doing that, watch the extended version, okay? I recommend watching the extended version, but I know it's kind of long. Um, not all the videos will be that long, but I'll try to make them a little bit shorter next time. The data. Here, here's the data, here are the numbers. So the rubber mat has 61 centimeters uh, greater than or equal to 61 centimeters. So that came in third. That one had the most friction. The aluminum, 13 centimeters. That one came in second. Second place in having, um, not the most, but second, second most. And then carpet, 5.3 centimeters. That one had the most friction. Why? Because 5.3 centimeters, and that was the average distance that the marble traveled down the ramp at a height of 1.5 centimeters. Yes. So the conclusion was, and this is a true statement, the rubber mat had the least amount of friction. This is a true statement. Now let's go back to your hypothesis. Was your hypothesis correct? I believe the aluminum surface will have the most friction. I guess I was incorrect. Which one has the most friction? The carpet. The carpet had the most friction. This is a correct statement. My hypothesis was my own opinion. And that was it for the experiment. If you guys want to try this experiment at home, you can do so using different surfaces. You don't have to use a marble. You don't have to use the same height as I did. Your distance may be different. But I want you guys to try this at home. Try this simple experiment talking about friction. 
friction is a force and I want you guys to try it out. Okay, boys and girls. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please go ahead, uh, rate and subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. Well, you can't comment, but it's okay. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.